12, 34. Fuck. 12, 34. Fuck, I think I lost access to my Luxon system. Which options do I have to reset the password? You will see in this video. 12, 34. <laughs> Anyway, if you're unlucky and you lose your password or you deal with a customer who changed the password, you don't know it and he wants to reset it, these are the options. If you are a Loxon partner, I would recommend you create a technician account for yourself. Of course, tell the end customer that you have one with admin permission. To create another user, you simply connect to your mini server, load out of the server and then you go here onto users and permissions click on user and then up here it shows add new user. I call it technician and then down here you can set the password. Don't forget to also add a user interface password because for certain function blocks like the alarm block you need a visualization password. And now let's assume the end customer cannot remember the admin password. Oh, I don't know, damn it, man. Richard, please help, help. I connect with my user technician and then I load from the mini server and then I open up the users and then I go on to the end customer's user. Could be admin, could be Richard, could be whatever you say. And then down here, same story, you can add or change the password in the config. What happens when they call you when you're somewhere, not on your PC? You can do the exact same thing in the app as well. You can connect to the customer's mini server. Then you go to user management. It's in German here because my operating system here is German. User management. Then I have to enter my password. And then I can see here, I can go onto any user and then I reset the password here as well. Let me know if you want to see a detailed video about users and permissions because for the technician to be an admin user you also have to go up here manage permissions and then you have to select it here and say okay which user group is it is it in full access yes which rights and stuff you can also say certain rooms certain function blocks like my parents they see only the garage opener and door opener and stuff nothing else in my app Stuff like this. Ah, uh, shit, I didn't subscribe to Richard's channel, so I didn't do that. What other option do you have? You can, at the certain version, I think config 12, you can put the SD card back into your PC and then you can reset the password that way. Let me show you this as well. To get out the SD card of the mini server, it's a bit dangerous because you have to typically open up the cabinet to get down there and then you have the SD card in here, you push on it and then you get it out. For your own safety, this should only be done by professionals. For the bigger mini server, it's the same story, it's up here with the push in. If you have no other chance, then you insert the SD card into your laptop or your PC. You need a micro SD card adapter for it. And then you open up the config and then you go down here to reset password. Here it says it only works if the config version on the SD card is version 12 or higher. Then we go to next, we select the SD card that we have in our PC. Then we say next as well. And then we say the user is admin. And then we say the password is our new password 1234 <laughs> and then all users will be notified that the mini server password has been changed that's okay and then you just put the sd card back into the mini server make sure to have it powered off and then after inserting power it on again so it needs to reboot and then you should be able to log in again if you have a convict version below 12 where these tricks do not work then you are a bit screwed up honestly but there might be a slight chance that saves you from reprogramming everything is that if you find or the customer has somewhere a local old config file or even a backup, it's not so unusual because if you do a firmware update, the config update of the mini server, then you are typically asked if you want to create a backup. By default, it's ticked. So maybe you have the file somewhere. Then I would buy a new SD card from Loxone to keep the old locked one as a backup 
because there at least everything with the push button you press you have a light on motion sensor turns light on like i would never format this locked sd card so i get a new one which is virgin then i open in the config the local file then i search connect to the virgin mini server user is admin password is admin and then i save the old config file back in there or if you have a backup you go into the config format sd card choose the backup and then format it with this backup and while you're connected to the mini server you can create the technician user and also change the admin password there while you're connected as you saw before if you follow this channel you never get screwed with your locks on system see you in the next video